Hey, what's up, Sabrina? Hi, Tim. I see you're playing a, a little par five here. Yeah, I thought sir. maybe I would tag along and ask you a bunch of questions. Some like, rapid fire questions. Some rapid fire questions. What do you think? Okay. All right, so first question before you tee off. Uh, what time do you normally wake up in the morning? Eight is pretty standard. Do you have a set breakfast that you normally eat? I usually don't eat breakfast. Huge venti iced coffee from Starbucks every day. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll let you tee off and then we'll get uh, get the rest of the questions going. Right over the thunker. Second. Yeah, I think you can go right over that bunker. That should be perfect. Okay. Well, I guess we'll start this long walk. Hang on. So, um, what is your handicap right now with golf? I actually don't know my handicap right now. <laughs> okay. Well, that's not super useful, but uh, it's honest. Yeah. That's what matters here. Okay. So, uh, super off the wall question here, but you're stuck on a deserted island of okay. one year. You can take one person with you. My dad. Survive. Your dad? My dad, a hundred percent. He's so good at outdoor stuff. <laughs> Is that something that you enjoy, the outdoors, or not really? I like the outdoors, but I'd rather go outdoors than stay in a hotel. <laughs> go, go spend time there. Do uh, you have a, an animal, a pet? I have a dog, a Yorkie. His name is Joey. I'm not a huge dog person, but now I am because I'm obsessed with my dog. <laughs> Do you believe in Bigfoot? Sure. That's that's a very strong opinion. <laughs> sure. I guess there might be one out there. Yeah. You know, I'll be okay. Uh, okay. If you were not doing golf content, you weren't in this world, what do you think uh, you would be doing? Marketing, social media marketing, probably. Is that what you went to college for? Yes. Marketing major. Uh, what, uh, what kind of marketing do you enjoy? Like creating content or? Yes. I personally like creating content. It's really fun to put together something that looks wonderful from scratch, you know? Well, absolutely. I'm a huge fan of that. Uh, have you ever had a time where there was like a, an intrusive thought in your swing that was just messing you up? I think just tempo. You know, sometimes my tempo would be a little off and that kind of got in my head. That makes sense. Uh, okay, so this one, I'm going to have to kind of think through. But okay. uh, So put yourself, you're 50 years old, okay? okay. And you got to pick the place you're going to live and what are you going to be doing okay. at 50? Um, I'm going to be living in Florida. I love Florida. Don't think I'll ever move. What am I going to be doing? Hopefully living on a nice golf course, playing golf often and working out. <laughs> is golf like a genuinely your passion or yes. something you feel like you have to do? I, I definitely am someone who goes through a lot of stages where I'll get into something and then stop. But golf has been the one thing, even through the ups and downs, I always go back to it along with the gym. Golf and the gym are my two oasises, even though they frustrate me. Jim doesn't frustrate me. Golf does. <laughs> what's your uh, What's your first golf memory, and how did you get into the sport? Probably shooting like 120 at a tournament and crying, and uh, my dad got me into it. <laughs> Wait, that's your first golf memory? It's crying <laughs> in a tournament? Not like your first time at the range. It's crying in a tournament. Yeah, probably. No, you know. That's uh, <laughs> that was unexpected. You know, I thought it might be when your dad took you to the range for the first time. Or... Don't remember that now. That's okay. All right. Do you have a uh, favorite childhood toy? I had a bear, like a little stuffed animal bear. Just a little stuffed animal. I wasn't that, uh... Oh. Golf ball's up here, so I guess we should figure out what your yard in Tim's limit you're on. 171. Hey, Jonas is here, showing up. Fine, He's got some clubs. Yeah. Look, patty action. Um, okay, before you hit this, how would you describe your golf game in one word? Roller coaster. That's fair. All right. Good luck. Oh, jeez. Well, oh, wait. It's a par five. It's a par five. That was a hard lie for me. Not the best contact, but I think it's actually going to work out just fine. I think so. Yeah. Um, okay, so what are you working on right now in your game? What's like the biggest pain point? Confidence. Confidence? Yes. You've got a very unique putting stroke. A lot of people commented on that. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, is that something you even think about or is it more of just like a... I'm such game? a feels player. I, I'm someone who just looks at the hole and goes. But I think when I was practicing more in college, it was a lot more... It was shorter. 
I nodded inside, so. That makes sense. Do you have like a top five uh, cities that you've traveled to? I love Phoenix, Arizona. I like San Diego. Amsterdam, the best, the best. Barcelona, and uh, I really liked Edinburgh. Edinburgh? Scotland. So what would be the, the top five places you want to visit if you haven't been? Um, wait, wait. Venice, Florence. I want, I'm Italian descent, so I definitely want to explore there. Japan, really bad. Hmm, da, 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 da. Bali. Bali well, uh, awesome. Yeah, definitely going to go there. Tokyo. I said Japan. That's not, that's not a city. Did I say Japan? I meant Tokyo. That's fine. Um, okay. Do you have a like favorite golf memory yet? Yes. Making a hole in one and winning a car. Wait, you want a car? Yeah, in Brazil. That is awesome. Thanks. Yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> I'm, I've still never had a hole in one. Was it? Was it? I don't awesome? care if I ever make one again. I want a car. You just can't get better than that. Honestly. Did you see it go in, or was it like oh? Yeah, I saw it go in. Was it a good shot or like a? No, it shot? was a really good shot. It was a really good shot. I feel like so many hole in one stories are like I hit a terrible shot and it just like still went in. No, mine was great, and of there was a car as a prize, so I was happy. Okay, favorite color. Yeah, blue, I think. <laughs> You're like, I have to ask somebody and then I'll find out. Uh, do you have like a super strange golf story? Like just a bizarre experience? No, I definitely was not a great kid on paper and then golf kind of... If I didn't start golf, I would not be on the best path to say the least. All right, so we got a little chip shot here up to the green. Can I have my 52 if you grab that? Thank you, sir. Actually, can I have my 52? Let me have both. Thanks. Before you hit this, couple, uh, couple of yes, either ors, uh, chicken or beef. It depends. It really depends. Like for lunch, probably chicken. For dinner, steak. Okay. Uh, beef or tofu. Beef. Beef or fish. Eh, I like sushi. It depends on the mood. Okay. Perfect weather. Would you rather walk or drive a cart? Walk. Walk. Okay. All right. I'll let you hit the shot. Now, let me think of myself a little good lie here. Please, I don't know if I should get a 60 or a 56. What do you think? Um, I don't know. I don't know what kind of shot you want to play here, so. Oh my gosh, what am I doing right now? <laughs> I mean, it's on the green, so. so bad. And you're a pretty good putter. So, two putt for par? Yeah. I mean, this is maybe the weirdest golf hole you played because you're getting asked questions I know, high like, time. It's basically an interview. Lots of pressure. So, uh, so much. Okay, uh, we're in Kansas City. So, rate Kansas City golf like that you've seen so far. So, like on a 10 scale. Probably like a 6. Pretty neutral. Okay. Not like, oh, not like, eh. it's pretty nice. I like the greens here, actually. What is your uh, dream vacation right now? Ta-da! Probably Italy, and I'm going in September. What is the uh, the last song you listened to? Uh, a Drake song. Something by Drake. <laughs> yeah, no, I love Drake. All right, let's put this. Hey, there's no way I'm making a bogey here, guys. What's your thought process on a, a long putt like this? Kind of close to the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it simple. Go close to the hole. Yeah, uh, that wasn't that bad. Yeah. Uh, did you watch a lot of animated uh, no, films no, no, no. growing up? Not at all? I mean, no. I like fishtails. <laughs> right. Uh, do you have a favorite genre of movies? Psychological thrillers. And do you have a favorite movie in that genre? Uh, probably Shutter Island's good. Movies like that that make you think and you're like, what the heck is happening? All right. So this putt's for par. I need to make this. Oh no, Sabrina. Hey, so is this one of those moments where the emotional golfer would just pop out and kind of freak out a little bit? No, I've changed. You say? I'm a different person now. I believe you. I believe you entirely. Nice. Really good. Okay. Well, I have uh, one more question for you. Okay. And it's this. 
Who's the most famous person in your in your phone right now? Famous contact. Ray Allen. <laughs> Miami, because you're from Miami, right? Yeah. Nice. All right. Well, thank you for uh, being the first ever victim of this. Nation. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a victim. No, I'm <laughs> that was quite. Thanks, thanks for having me. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys on the next one. Bye bye.